As thousands of students get ready to return to school, how about going to school in a submarine? The Pacific Fleet Submarine Museum at Pearl Harbor is a place to soak in history and STEM. Kamakapili joining us from Pearl Harbor with more. When we think of Pearl Harbor, what comes to mind for most may be the USS Arizona, but how many of us are familiar with the USS Bofin? Exactly one year after the bombing of Pearl Harbor in 1941, this submarine, nicknamed the Pearl Harbor Avenger, hit the open ocean as a World War II attack submarine. Today, it resides in the harbor as part of the Pacific Fleet Submarine Museum. Let's head inside the museum to find out more. And here he is. Let me introduce Chuck Merkel, the executive director here at the Pacific Fleet Submarine Museum. Thank you very much, Chuck. You know, I think just to start off real fast, if you could share a little bit about the history. I'm, I'm not very familiar with USS Bofin, and I'm sure a lot of our viewers aren't as well. Sure. Thanks, Kamaka. We appreciate this opportunity. The Bofin was a World War II fleet submarine. She was commissioned in uh, 1943, made nine war patrols in the Pacific. And then, uh, although she was scheduled to be scrapped in the 70s, she was uh, converted into a museum ship, and we put her on display here in 1981. Uh, later this year, we'll celebrate our 10 millionth visitor to the Bowfin. Wow. Congratulations on a lot of new renovations. And I, like a lot of other organizations and companies during this pandemic, gave you a chance to really refresh this. And if you don't mind sharing a little bit about what you offer here, and especially for students, how can students benefit from coming here? Throughout the museum, we've added interactive exhibits so people can get a better understanding and feeling of what it's like during those eras to live and serve on our submarines and to inspire people to serve going forward. So there's lots of various issues that can be learned about in, this, in the submarine. Um, how does it surface? How does it submerge? Uh, chemistry, how the battery works, um, nuclear propulsion and how that was applied to submarines and what that means to a submarine. Uh, just many, many examples of how STEM concepts can be brought to practical use. And, you know, this has been distinguished as a National Historic Landmark. If people want to take the time to really care for this place and make sure that this really piece of history continues into the future, what are some opportunities that they may have? Well, we're always looking for people to help us maintain uh, the grounds and our submarine. And now with our real focus on education, we're looking to bring in more volunteers that can help us with education. We really want to get the, the school involved here. So those are the kinds of things we're always looking for. We greatly appreciate any help we could get. To bring into perspective how massive these submarines are, this black circular structure going around me is depicting the size of a nuclear submarine. It is huge, and it's just as huge as the information that is within this museum. So if you're interested in volunteering, especially for STEM and students, contact the museum. That, and if you want to plan your visit here, you can find all that information on our website, khon2.com. Kamakopili with KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.